What exactly is nanotechnology? To answer that question, first we need to think small. Really, really small. Smaller than anything you've ever seen through a microscope in school. Think atoms and molecules, and now you're looking at things on the nanoscale, where scientists are developing exciting new materials that can range in size from 1 to 100 nanometers. But how big is a nanometer, really? Let's take a closer look at something we're a bit more familiar with, like hair. One nanometer is 100,000 times smaller than the width of a single human hair. So we're talking really, really small. But just because these nanomaterials are small, doesn't mean they're insignificant. Because they're so small, they have some amazing abilities. Some have different magnetic properties, some are better at conducting electricity or heat, and some can actually change colors depending on their size or shape. Today, many of our nation's most creative scientists and engineers are finding new ways to use nanotechnology to improve the world we live in. Nanomaterials can be used in medical devices to detect diseases and in drugs to treat them, in food safety and low-cost water filters. They can be used to make smaller, faster electronics or lighter but stronger materials for building things like bridges. They can help clean up hazardous chemicals in the environment, and they can even be used in things like textiles. With all of these amazing applications for nanomaterials, just imagine where nanotechnology might be able to take us in the future.